Hi guys, welcome back to another uh, edition of Ranch Talk Live. I'm Mike. I'm Erin. And I have a button undone. <laughs> so you look a little like... <laughs> like a little disheveled. Uh, and of course, this is our Wyoming life. Um, basically, for anybody who's new here, and I know there's been a, there's been quite a few uh, quite a few new people, so I really just wanted to run this through really quick and just talk about why we're here and what we do. Um, we are here so that you can explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary, and so can we. And basically, our whole deal is to introduce people to a side of agriculture that they may have never seen before and bring the consumer closer to the producer and producers closer together as well. So that's my short little spiel there. How are you, Aaron? I'm really tired. Are you really? Aaron has been like going nonstop <laughs> all day long. I picked so many vegetables today. Oof. Gardens are doing good. They are. They're crazy. It's crazy. There's like, how many pounds of vegetables do you think you have? this week a lot and we have something special going on this week that's actually going to be in Aaron's video next Thursday where um, we had somebody send us a check anonymously for a hundred dollars and what they wanted that check to do was go to our local food bank mm -hmm. um, with donations from us mm -hmm. so Aaron is actually picking and and gathering a hundred pound hundred dollars worth of vegetables to take to the, uh, what is it called? The Council the of Community Council, Services. Yeah, Council of Community Services. And they are going to allow us to come and video it. And, uh, oh, I don't know about that yet. I thought you had this all planned out. Okay, well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> it's part of a program that we do with Farmers Market called Share the Harvest, where producers can donate unsold produce at the end of the day on Saturdays. So uh, I'm going to show you guys this $100 of produce that I have picked extra for this week for for next week's video and also show you guys you know the donations and and how the process works at farmers market and what we do with it and i i think they'll come let me film i haven't had a chance to call i thought you but, were gonna do that well i haven't had a chance oh. so wow. i do think that we'll be able to come and, and film while they either do it in i don't know if they do it in baskets or if they let people come and pick it up so we'll find out i have no idea how are you feeling just really tired and really like sore like moving hundreds of pounds of produce like i'm sore <laughs> it's not fun and your cold is getting better yeah no i do feel you know this cold that's like going on oh, it's for been like, like weeks. weeks yeah no i'm I, every day is is better i've got some phlegm <laughs> which i'm sure that you'll learn about did you bring over kleenex with you at all or are you just no, gonna, like, I, use, my, use my shirt yeah no I, my nose is not so much runny anymore just it's like stuck in oh. my throat lincoln came up and wiped his nose on my shirt like two <laughs> seconds after i put it on I have and he funny, walks up and <clears throat> i have a funny story about lincoln real quick sure shoot okay. me with your lincoln story. yesterday he was up at grammy's and he likes to suck his thumb and pick his nose and he got at the up, same time yeah because that's like multitasking yeah right and he got out a booger and he went and fed it to my mom's dog. It was like... <laughs> <laughs> the dog ate it? Yeah. Rosie ate my bugger. <laughs> I, if nothing else, kids are like uh, like comedic relief yeah. sometimes. Because you can have the worst day in the world and then Lincoln feeds snot to the dog. Yeah. And, and she ate it. It's all good. Yeah. So he was pretty happy with himself. He, he got a bugger out and he fed it to the dog. <laughs> I don't know, you save like three cents on dog food. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, thanks to everybody for coming out tonight. There's a lo there's a lot of new faces in here. A lot of new names, I guess I should say. There's not that many new faces. Well, new little avatars. I guess that's kind of a new new face thing. But uh, I also want to thank William Dunn um, for stepping up and uh, becoming our newest moderator. Uh, we were actually one moderator short. So we were. Uh, yeah, we've got. Uh, Seems like um, a lot. Matt is here. Bob from Nashville, Nash guy, and now William is here. Um, I usually like to keep three on staff just because. On staff, like they, we pay these. They people. they keep they keep. Well, we don't. We send them T-shirts and jerky There's and stuff fly. like that. There's a fly in here. Hey, thanks, Trent, for the two Thank bucks, you. man. Um, Trent is actually a friend of mine from Utah, Salt Lake City, Utah. I met Trent last year at a uh, YouTube conference in Cincinnati that I went to. Met Trent, and he surprised me when I was in Dallas. He kind of, I don't I can't remember if he snuck up behind me or what, but he, I was like, oh, man, there's Trent, because I wasn't expecting him at all. Yeah. And we went and had, I think we went and had lunch a couple times together, or maybe, I don't remember. We, I know we had lunch at least once. All right. And some, some other guy sat with us who I didn't know. Oh. Maybe Trent knew, but I, I didn't know him, but he was interesting <laughs> enough. He had a, he had a channel about um, motorcycle training. Oh. He was a former motorcycle 
instructor. Okay. And now he has a YouTube channel that teaches people how to ride motorcycles, which I think if you're riding a motorcycle and trying to watch YouTube at the same time, that's probably not a good thing. Well, you shouldn't be driving. <laughs> I don't know. I, I forgot to ask him about that part. But anyway, thank you very much, Trent. Really do appreciate thank it. You. Um, Trent is actually starting up his own business and he's going to have some great things coming up. So we keep an eye on Trent. Um, lots of folks here and, uh, moder uh, John, John Hatt just asked, what is a moderator? Uh, a moderator. I keep you guys in line. Yeah. Keeps us all in line. Um, <laughs> moderators are actually some of my closest friends who I'm able to, to count on, um, pretty much for anything. Mm -hmm. They, they, if I'm rambling on, they'll text me and tell me to shut up. Um, <laughs> If there's something going on where somebody's being offensive or mean or whatnot, and a lot of times you guys don't even see it, um, YouTube will actually have it come up, and it'll be kind of on a delay. It'll be hidden. Yeah, it'll be so... hidden, and the moderators can see that, and they can decide, okay, is this appropriate or is it not? And they're the ones that, they're the cops out there that are uh, keeping us all in line and, and making sure that uh, everything if you drop the F bomb in your comment, YouTube's not going to show that. The moderators have to approve that. Right. So pretty much any cursing, I think. And if you ask people to subscribe to your channel, that also gets hidden. <laughs> if you put up a link, I think that does. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of weird little things, but anyway, so we uh, we just wanted to share something with you guys. Now this, Aaron made a special. I don't ever get. If you're hungry, go get a snack. I don't ever get we're gonna carrot cake. And. <laughs> So Aaron made us a special carrot cake for our live stream, which I really do wish I could share with you. Um, how'd you get a bigger piece than I did? You cut them. I know. <laughs> but, oh my God, this is such good stuff. I'm going to get really up close to the camera here so you can see. <laughs> that is the, uh, the frosting delivery vehicle. But we were talking about this last night. Um, we recorded our podcast last night. It'll be live tomorrow. And we were talking about the, the carrot cake. And there's the a fact fly on the camera. there's a fly on the camera. How do they do that? Um, we were talking about the carrot cake and carrot cake, although it is a frosting delivery vehicle. I swear it's just um, the cream cheese frosting. But if it was just frosting, it would be horrible. And if it was just <laughs> carrot cake, it, it would, would be, be horrible. horrible. <laughs> it's, it's a perfect blend of goodness on a plate. Mm -hmm. It's good stuff. So, yeah. We haven't had dinner yet. So we're having cake. <laughs> I did have a piece of, uh, I had two pieces mm -hmm. of bacon. So. I had a piece of bacon. Yeah. And some crackers. So. Bacon and carrot cake actually goes pretty good together. How about we just sit here and eat for an hour? Thank you, Corey, for the $10. <laughs> Hello from Ohio. Have you Thank been you, to Corey. Ohio? I have been to Ohio. I've been to Cincinnati, oh, yeah. Ohio. Um, it was nice. I went down the river and all that kind of good stuff. I don't know where Corey's at in, in Ohio because obviously there's a lot of different places in Ohio, but. It is good. We had this is a funny thing about the carrot cake. We had somebody show up at farmers market um, on Saturday, last Saturday, and they're buying carrot cake. And somebody next to them says, "Oh, have you had the carrot cake? Is it good?" And the guy says, "I've never had the carrot cake, but I've seen it on the internet." And he bought like four pieces of carrot cake. Never tried it. <laughs> best in the world. The best, the best cheesecake you've never eaten is this cheesecake right here. Or not cheesecake. cheesecake, carrot cake. I was trying to pitch here, but it didn't work. Anyway, it's good stuff. Turned out pretty good. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, um, we had a lot of questions. A lot of times people show up early for the live stream and they hang out in what is called the green room. And you can come, I think, an it's hour. It's not called the green room. You just made that up. <laughs> I, I, I call it the green room. I think Matt calls it the corral, which actually probably makes more, more sense. sense. <laughs> makes more sense than the green room. But uh, we, were, we were hanging out in there kind of chit-chatting before we started the live stream. And, of course, there was questions about the cookbook, mm. um, which, if you don't know, Erin got a cookbook um, I don't, I don't have deal that. kind of thing going on that she needs to make this cookbook and hopefully have it out by Christmas. Is that kind of the hope? Um, yeah. We're in a pretty tight... That fly, man. There's one fly in here. It's um, crazy. I talked to the publisher today, or yesterday. Yesterday? I don't know. I don't know. They all run together. Tuesday, maybe. Um, we have a timeline that we're shooting for. It wouldn't be bad if we didn't still have Farmer's Market, but I still have six more weeks of Farmer's Market, so it's going to be pretty rough. But ideally, yeah, sometime, I mean, if, if things go well, maybe it'll be out before Thanksgiving. If it doesn't go well, you know, Happy New Year's. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe Happy Valentine's Day. I don't know. Working on it. Right. So, um, Carrot Cake will be in the cookbook. It will be. 
Yeah. You're sure. Well, it's my cookbook, so I yeah. Guess. Yeah, you can put whatever you want to it. So you have a deadline of like November 1st. Yeah, I'm supposed to get all my recipes. Um, and pictures, pictures and everything else. Everything, everything that I want in the book, stories. Um, yeah, everything that I want to put in the cookbook has to be to the publisher by November 1st. So no little, pressure. a little stressed. Yeah. Um, I have some stuff rattling around in my brain of what I want to put in the cookbook. I was going to like work on it this week and like put stuff down on paper and that didn't happen. So there's always next week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the pictures will be, I mean, the pictures are like the most important thing of a cookbook and even, um, Phil Dev, yeah. I mean, obviously the, the, without it, if it's just words, it's nothing. I refuse to buy cookbooks if there is not pictures of the food right so um yeah there'll be pictures of every recipe for sure has to be so i think so so here's one of our questions that we're actually going to pose to you not right now we're going to pose it to you tomorrow um youtube has a deal called the community tab where i can pull you and i can ask you questions and i can send you pictures and i can do whatever the heck i want um, we're actually going to do a poll because one of the questions that the publisher has is the interest in the cookbook. Um, if we do um, an ebook, if we end up doing actual hardcover, uh, physical, you know, copies of the book. I don't know book, if it'll have a hardcover, but printed. <laughs> printed books. Um, so actually tomorrow at some point, I'm going to put a poll up on our community tab. And I do ask that all you guys get a chance to, to pop over there and actually just give us, you know, a really quick yes or no if you're interested in actually... Um, getting like a physical book. That's what we're going to ask, right? Yeah. Ebook or physical book? Which would you prefer? Okay. So, right. Because um, the plan was originally just to make an ebook, 10, 15 recipes. I think it's going to be more now. <laughs> <laughs> As with everything, it just grows and grows uh, and grows. So, yeah. And I think we'll have an ebook. I think we'll, it's easy. You know, I think to do we'll an still e have an ebook mm -hmm. available for yeah. people because I think if we do a printed book, it's going to be what 15, 20 bucks or something like that by the time that printing and oh, stuff yeah, is maybe done. More Especially with pictures because that gets ridiculous. I got a quote on printing and it. Oops. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And an ebook, of course, you can pick up for you know next to nothing because I mean that doesn't cost anything. No. So um, I think that there's going to be, um, you know, some debate there. There's debate on everything we do oh, here everything. lately, but we've, we've become quite controversial to some point. <laughs> but um, let's go back. Let's answer a few questions. So we've got a lot of stuff to talk about tonight. We've got mail call coming up. We're going to talk about my trip to Dallas and what kind of, now don't get scared because if I say that I went to Dallas and I learned new things, everybody's like, oh my God, you're going to change the channel and it's going to be, now we're going to become a fishing channel or something like fishing that. Fishing channel. We don't, um, I, I fished one time when I was eight. How'd that go for you? I didn't catch anything. <laughs> So yeah, we're going to talk about the trip to Dallas and some new things that, that and just quick spoiler alert, but um, it's nothing, nothing's going to change about what we do. The fact is that a lot of what I went to Dallas to learn was how to give you guys more without causing ourselves a ton of extra work. So um, we're going to talk about that and, and some new changes or not changes, but new things uh, that'll be coming along. We're going to talk about the, that tonight. We're going to talk about farm to table. Um, what the future of farm to table is and and that kind of stuff and we're going to talk about what else we're going to talk about mail call did i say that already mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to talk about the podcast some so that's uh that's pretty much what we have in store but we also like to get in and answer questions and make sure that uh, you guys feel appreciated so let's uh let's go right on back um zach now this is this is self-serving zach d the first one i pull up uh where did we purchase your project products uh, we have t-shirts available on Amazon. You can go to our website, uh, ourwyomilife.com, and there's lots of links there. So. More products coming soon. More, yeah. Jerky but, is going to be available soon. Jerky is coming up. We have made up. progress in the last couple of weeks. On the we have. Uh, we have now formed an LLC, which actually now we can go and sell stuff online and without having to go through like Teespring or mm -hmm. Amazon or something like that. So the... Uh, beef jerky will be coming available online as soon as I finish uh, a few little tiny tweaks on the website. Um, the new website will come live. We'll be able to, we'll have an online store there. So you'll be able to buy beef jerky, uh, original recipe, peppered, and teriyaki. We'll also have our belt buckles for sale there. Um, and that's it for now. <laughs> that's it. Pretty much it for now, right? We'll have the ebook there eventually. Yeah. If anybody else has any other ideas of stuff that doesn't cost anything <laughs> that we can throw up there that, to give to people, I mean... There, you know, it's it's, you know, we could we could put T-shirts on the website, but then we have to buy the T-shirts ahead of time, get them printed, and then we hold an inventory, which is kind of a pain in the butt. 
Um, we actually just got rid of that all yeah, a we couple weeks ago. Yeah, we just got rid of so. our inventory. So, no, it, yeah, no, you, Amazon. Amazon is, <laughs> you know, the best place to get t-shirts. Like <coughs> t-shirt. So You need to scroll down your step. I'm stuck. We need to answer some questions. All right, throw up some questions. Um, find one. Find a question. Carrot cake. <laughs> I rule numbers count. Uh, so Matt, one of our moderators, his favorite pastime during live streams is to count how many times you roll your eyes. I haven't ever He rolled actually my eyes. has a sheep counter. He calls it a baseball counter or something. We call it a pitch counter. We call him a sheep counter. But uh, yeah, a little clicky counter. Did I roll my eyes? You must have, you must have, because it's out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Was it about funny. fishing? Is that what I rolled my eyes? It about? might have been about fishing. I don't <laughs> or, know. No, when you said you were gonna we're gonna See, that's the flub. <laughs> you said we we're going to learn to do more stuff without adding more work. Oh, that's when you rolled your eyes. For yeah, sure. For <laughs> sure. Um, how come you don't have a project list for your live stream? I don't know what that would be. Our live stream is actually, this is our best time. Yeah, yeah we do. We have a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, our live stream is actually, I mean, besides the podcast, it's probably, you know, one of the best times of the, of the week that we actually get to sit down and just... It's like the easiest video to make. It is. It is pretty easy. We, I put about an hour's worth of prep work into um, yeah. the live stream and an hour for an hour. That makes that makes perfect sense to me. So, yeah. um, okay. Um, with John Deere tractors, Wayne, what kind of tractors do we have? What kind of track? We have a 6410, 6420, and a 4055. We also have a 445, which is a small um, lawn tractor type thing. We have an International 606. And Lincoln that, has a gator. Lincoln has a, a power wheels. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it for tractor wise, anyway. It is hot in here. Are you hot? No. I am hot. Whew. <laughs> Okay, uh, Peggy Adams, what is the story behind the foreclosure pending sign in your workshop? That's something that we need to just like oh, post gosh, on. I need to get a tattoo video. on my forehead about the foreclosure pending I, sign. My, Matt said it in a comment or something on a video a couple weeks ago. Gilbert was trolling people before trolling people was a thing. Yeah, Gilbert had this sign made, this foreclosure pending sign. Um, Aaron made that I one made when you were in college. I had come home. Yeah. So I was living here, and I just, like, putzed around on the ranch for a summer. Yeah. It didn't work. Gilbert used to take that sign, and he would hang it on the fence. And people passing by, of course, would see the foreclosure pending sign, and it became the talk of the town that Gilbert was losing his ranch. It was actually pretty, it was kind of in bad taste. But uh, He was trolling people. Yeah, he was. He a, really was. Gilbert was, was a troll. Matt he, explained it perfectly. It was like, oh, I don't know why I never thought of that. But, yeah, that's exactly what he was doing. He just liked to get a rise out of people. Gilbert was a troll before there were trolls. Um, he liked to pretend to, he liked the poor rancher. Yeah, kind of and then at some point he decided to hang it up. And actually he, I found it somewhere and decided to put it on the wall it after Gilbert just... passed away. Um, not only to remind us of Gilbert and his weird trollish sense of humor, <laughs> but also that the fact that, uh, you know, things can go south quickly and, and it's very important that we keep track of that. Peter Parks, Pete Parks, uh, Thank thanks you. for the $20 super chat, man. That's awesome for whatever. Uh, it'll go towards hay, trust me. Every every extra dime that we have around here right now is going towards hay. So thank you very much, Pete. Thank you. We do appreciate it. Um, hay has been rolling in. Uh, actually, we had a load of hay that came in while I was in Dallas. Two loads. Two loads came in. Two loads in. with pups. Oh, really? <laughs> those, those guys that stacked it, they did a great job. Can you explain what a pup is? Because people a might pup know. trailer. Okay, so you got a semi trailer, the regular 48. And then a pup trailer is usually an extra, I'm not sure the exact size, one of our trucker friends will be able to answer this, but uh, I think it's 15, 20 foot trailer that they pull behind, which looks like a giant pain in the butt. I followed one the other day, not our hay, but just followed one on the highway. The pup just like, yeah, they actually, the whole yeah. way. I was like, oh. <laughs> the load they brought up before this last one, they dropped a pup. They actually went off the road a little bit and the pup flipped over and dumped that <laughs> whole load of hay in the ditch. So That happens at least once a year. Yeah, it's not good. Not good. Um, do you have a John Deere Gator? Yes. We have two. Yeah, we have the John Deere Little Gator, which is the CX. That was Gilbert's Gator. And That's it's my like, garden gator. It's like the little golf cart type gator, kind of. <laughs> and then we have the regular gator that we use most of the time. So, uh, Rodney asks, uh, how are the pigs? How are the pigs? 
piggy. Yeah, they eat doing, a lot. They of do food. eat a lot. They're doing great though. They're growing. They're getting bigger fast, and we do have a video coming up here before too long that we're gonna um, do some work with the pigs and a little bit of work in their corral and and uh, make them happy. So they really do eat a lot of food. David, really, the the pup is twenty eight feet. I didn't oh. think they were that long. That's yeah. crazy. I guess I never I never really paid attention. All right. Um, we should do a video with the chickens. Have you checked to see if they're laying eggs yet, the chickens? They aren't. Not yet. They're getting close, though. They are sitting in the roosts. Oh, that's good. So I do need I need to go through the chicken house and clean it. Oh, it's such a mess. Uh, with a fine-tooth comb. Well, not with a I'm going to clean it with a rusty <laughs> shovel. But uh, we'll get that thing cleaned out because it is getting a little The bit. ducks, man. The ducks are horrible. They are the messiest animals in the world. I don't know what just it is. water, man. They, just... they get around water, and they just make a mess. Yeah. So... Um, oh, why didn't you bring jerky to Dallas? Not for family whole I forgot the jerky. Homestead. I was going to, I was actually going to, so jerky has made a uh, transit. Jerky was stored in a, in a storage area down in the shop for the longest time in the shop kitchen. And then I moved it all up into the attic and I forgot that I moved in the attic. So that morning when I left, mm. I went down to the shop to get, get it. jerky and it wasn't in there. And then I coming back in the house at three thirty, four o'clock in the morning, and trying to creep around. I didn't want to wake anybody up. So Grace keeps going up there and stealing it. I know she goes you up. You guys might not get any jerky. <laughs> Every once in a while Grace comes down and she's chewing on a piece of jerky. And like, Where did you get that? So she uh, she loves it. She thinks it's good stuff. And a few people actually have gotten jerky already. We did a, yeah. a pre-jerky kind of party not too long ago and, and a few people won um, jerky to try out. And I haven't gotten a bad review yet. Well, so, it's good jerky, so... If you're one of the folks that got jerky, then feel free to uh, let everybody else know how good it is. Mike built the chicken house, Nick. Yeah. I built the chicken house like our second or third year here. Yeah. Video what? idea. Take the horses out for a ride to check fences. Not a bad idea. Um, I don't mind. I You know, we've talked about this before, but I don't, I don't mind getting the horses out and, and working with them and stuff like that, but it's kind of like me time kind of thing, and... I don't know. It's it's weird. I'm weird that way, but hmm, that's just me. So, any other questions you want to hit that you've seen? I'm eating carrot cake. How's your carrot cake? Good. 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 <laughs> um, the peacock's doing just fine. Yeah, the peacock's doing great. He's uh, um, doing his thing. He's just floating around doing his thing. He did break his new leg. Um, I've got to fix that. He just popped the leg. There's actually like a foot on it. He popped the foot off of it. He was still walking around on it, but I did pull it off of him, and I've got to repair that. So He'd like it if you put his leg back. Yeah, he's not very happy when he's not wearing his leg. All right, let's talk about Farm to Table a little bit. Uh, James uh, Petreski asked how to buy tickets to Farm to Table. That's another thing that's actually going to be on the website mm -hmm. once we get the Farm to Table tickets, um, once we get Farm to Table figured out. Because right now there is... If you don't listen to our podcast, uh, our podcast is a place for us to vent a lot. And we have been going through, um, not drama, but a little bit of different thoughts <clears throat> coming from us, coming from the caterer, coming from people that come to far Farm to Table about what to do with it and how to make it better yeah. um, for certain people. Mm -hmm. You know, there was people that came to farm to table that complained that it was on a ranch and it's dirty. And we didn't so much complain. There we was did, a couple that complained. We have, you know, there's flies and by the end of the night there was a lot of, and not a lot of flies, it's not like it was unbearable or anything, but you know, it is a ranch and there's flies. It was kind of chilly, like the weather wasn't super great. It was, you know, but it's Wyoming. Um, I mean, really like no major complaints. No, but the fact is that we talked about this and there's three different groups of people that come to farm the table, three different cliques kind of deal, right? So we have the, our Wyoming life type people that are interested in agriculture. They want to come out. They want to be a part of it. Now mm -hmm. that's, let's say a third of who comes out, maybe. Yeah. Um, then we have the, the group of people that are in love with our chef. Yeah. Those people buy tickets just because they Ariane like, is catering. Yeah. You know, they, they buy tickets just for that reason. And then we have a third of the people that are just, 
they're philanthropists. They want well, to. I wouldn't say that. Well, they're, I mean, they're 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 <laughs> donating to a good cause. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it is a it's completely a fundraiser for a farmers market and for the incentive programs that we do, and. If you listen to the podcast, I explain it a lot more in detail, the incentive programs, but it is a fundraiser. And so a lot of people, you know, we invite everybody to walk the gardens and see the calves and, and the pigs and stuff. And some people choose not to participate in that. And that's fine. Nobody has to participate in that stuff. And then there's a lot of people that really enjoy the gardens. Um, the big dilemma is, is that we want to expand it because for whatever reason, I just can't be content. <laughs> So, the good thing is that Farm to Table funds really important programs mm -hmm. um, at, far, at farmers, farmers market. market. So you know, like the the SNAP incentive, where they you know if somebody comes in and spends you know twenty dollars in SNAP or food stamps or whatever it's called, the market matches that. So they give them twenty dollars to spend. Um, that's you know giving people better food to eat. Uh, same thing with the WIC program yeah. and the pop club, which is kids come in and they, they do activities, they try new foods and they actually get like a voucher to go and spend at a vendor yeah, um, for... based on what they do and how they do it. So it's good that, you know, that, that that money does, it's not just, we want to expand just to expand because we don't make a dime off the farm to table, no. but that money does go back into farmer's market for very important programs that our community has never, ever seen anything like this before. No. Oh, so you're doing good things. Yeah, like the state, for example, like WIC, the Women, Infant, Children program, the state of Wyoming doesn't even allow WIC to be accepted at Farmer's Market. But we said, we're just going to accept WIC, not really accept WIC because we can't run the paperwork. Um, but if they come and they show us their WIC card, we give them $10 to spend at market. No questions asked. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if it's a valid WIC card in all reality because I can't run that WIC card. Right. Um, whereas with... Um, snap we have a terminal and, and it works um, we're the only farmers market in the state of Wyoming that offers a WIC incentive so we've had a huge amount of success with WIC this year this is the first year we've offered WIC the program's growing the pop club this was its first year we want to grow it we want to expand it we need money to do those things mm -hmm. so we, so I mean this is this is a dilemma so the caterer is interested in actually moving farm to table to town, to her restaurant. Um, she will close down her restaurant for Farm to Table on a Sunday, mm -hmm. which costs thousands of dollars, yeah, almost $10,000 to close down a restaurant <laughs> for a day. Um, she will cater it there. People could still come out and, and tour the ranch and that kind of thing. Yeah, we'd bust people out. I mean, like, there's nothing's decided yet. No. And that's, keep in mind, nothing has been decided yet. Um, you know, and, and the big plan was to get a tent, do 150 people, I don't know if we can do it. So I've got meetings scheduled. Uh, Megan and Hannah and I have been talking about it a lot. We've been talking about it a lot. We shared some stuff on the podcast. We've gotten some feedback. So Farm to Table tickets will be available soon. Thank you, James. Yes, that, to answer your question, <laughs> hopefully yeah. soon. And there's going to be another added bonus in here is that next Farm to Table. Can I tell people this? Yeah. Is this good? It, um you guys will be the first to know. Thank you, James, for the 10 bucks. Yes, thank you. Um, we have decided that the day, as far as the table happens on a Sunday, the Saturday, which would be the day before Sunday. We, <laughs> I rolled my eyes. <laughs> yeah, Matt caught it. Um, we are planning <coughs> on having a down and dirty ranch party. You guys are all invited. Uh, if you can get here. It's awesome. We are going to charge a small fee for it because we, we are going to cook. We're going to have... I'm uh, not going to cook. Well, Aaron's not going to cook. <laughs> but our plan is this, that we are going to, on the Saturday before Farm to Table, um, we are going to have a down and dirty ranch party, which is going to include ranch tours. Um, well, or, maybe. Uh, Garden. What's wrong with you're you? Just, you got to bash everything. Cows, out. You're just like, knock it off. The cows are three miles away. We haven't figured that part out yet. Okay, well, we'll figure that out. <laughs> if we have to walk three miles, we'll figure it out. I'll put you all in the bucket of the tractor, and we'll just go. <laughs> we'll lift you up. <laughs> uh, you know, okay. see, now I lost my train of thought. Okay. Uh, ranch tours. We're gonna have. We're gonna have play horseshoes. We're gonna have fun games to play. Uh, we're gonna have a band here. We might have a bar, uh, like a like a you know paid bar type of thing, maybe. Uh, and we're going to have somebody come in and cook uh, our own beef from here on the ranch. We're going to cook hamburgers. We're going to get some whatever else we can throw on there. And uh, we're just going to have fun. So <laughs> Hey, that... rides for three miles. Yeah, maybe. I mean, the cows are far away. They are. Um, 
you know, but we usually have bottle calves and we'll see. We'll figure that part out. Nothing, you know, we haven't booked a band. You know, these are all just ideas. But, I mean, I think the reality is, is we're going to have a ranch party. Right. And that what that does is that gets those folks that are, you know, interested in the ranch. And it gets them out here. And it gets, one of the things we realized, we had, we had four subscribers come to our farm to table um, this year. Mm-hmm. And it was awesome. So cool. Got a chance to hang out with them. We actually sat at the table with them. We ate with them. Yeah. Great folks. And... But it didn't seem like enough. Like I wanted to just, I wanted to just hang out. These are my people. I know, know? but you can't, it's so, we had 72 people that wanted to talk to us. (laughs) So it's a little hard. Um, Thank you, Matt, for the $10. And thank you, JDS Lawn Care and Landscape for $2. Yes, thank Thank you you very much. So, I mean, if this is something that it's maybe, you know, that, that it sounds like you might be interested in. And the nice thing is that we do have. You know, the very next day will be farm to table, whether it's here at the ranch or it's at a restaurant in town, it's going to happen. Mm-hmm. And that gives people the opportunity that if you do want to go to farm to table, you can. Yes. Um, and we're going to have, I think we're going to do that on the website as well. So, yeah. so we'll uh, sell tickets for the ranch party, whatever we call it. We need a name for it. Yeah. If you got a name, shoot me an email because I can't come up with it. I've got the down and dirty ranch party. It's pretty much all I have in my head. And Aaron said that sounds too It'll be kid appropriate, (laughs) family friendly. Yeah. Um, So we're going to, yeah, so tickets will be available for that when we get some stuff actually booked. And um, also we'll have farm to table tickets available too. We have to decide how many people are coming to farm to table. I want to open up some tickets for you guys if you want to come and join us at farm to table. And of course, venue and all that stuff will be figured out before we um, sell tickets. It we have to keep it local because I need people that are local to, to care Not for, for the farm to table. For farm to table. And we have to, so if we have 150 tickets for farm to table, I mean, 50 of those could be for, for you guys, for you guys, but it's, a majority of it still needs to come from local yeah, community because it is a community. It event. supports our local farmer's market. I need people that live here in our community to support owl, our community. Matt has a good one. I want the owl stampede. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I like that. Only if Matt will run around in a, you know, like a, we can make him, what's the guy that, that co- the chuck wagon? Old Cookie. Okay. We'll make Matt Old Cookie and we'll put a weird little hat on him. Um, do we have helicopter space, Lancaster, Lang- What? Do you we have? We may a- fly in. Uh, yeah, we have, we have, we have, we've had actually helicopters land out here before. So we have had Not airplanes land out here. here. Not since but- we've been here, but <laughs> we've had airplanes land out here, helicopters land out here. So yeah. Um, so that's kind of the plan. It's all very, very in the, you know, the, the planning stages, but once we do have what's going on, we will be yeah. launching that and, uh, and getting that out to you guys and we'll have it on the website for sale. Yes. So, um, I'm not thinking the tickets are going to be too expensive. Obviously, you know, if we have a band, if we have, um, somebody come in and cook for us, I'm thinking 20 bucks a piece. Yeah, I don't know if that's, so I don't much- even know if that's like. Doable, I have but, not even talked to a caterer yeah. um, for the, the Saturday night party. It's We're not looking to make money off of this or anything, but I don't I'm looking wanna... to hang out with some folks. I'm look, So this would be really cool for me. Name tags, your name, and then your your YouTube name underneath it. Yeah. <laughs> so people, unless it's the same, because, you know, Matt's so original that he has the same YouTube name. But, um, you know, that would be cool to be able to put a face to the name. Yeah. You know, even for everybody else as they're going around, they're like, hey, I know you. Yeah. You know? You're nothing what I expect you to look like. <laughs> nothing at all. Oh, well, that's the wrong thing. What am I doing? <laughs> that is totally... That's old. What am I doing? I'm pushing the wrong buttons, man. <laughs> that's old. All Ignore right. that. I have stuff my face with some cheesecake. It's not cheesecake. Or cheese- <laughs> Why do you keep calling it cheesecake? It's carrot cake. <laughs> I don't know why I keep calling it cheesecake. Good know. though. Okay. Is yours all gone? Yeah, there's some frosting left. Oh man, I talked too much. Do you guys eat all the frosting on cake or do you scrape the frosting off? That's a good question. Because I'm like a 50 50. Scrape about 50% of the frosting off. <laughs> <laughs> I just eat it. I don't know. I don't keep track of it. All right. Okay. So, so you did mail call, so let's, you played the intro. So I did play the intro. Let's talk about mail call. This week, we've got quite a few stuff, not quite a few, three or four to get through. Um, so this is actually for you. This is a, a birthday thing. You want to read it? Do you want to paraphrase it? <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
we have inspired Michelle and her husband to grow their own food. Oh, really? Yeah. And where is Michelle and her husband from? From Lorraine, Ohio. Um, she says, happy belated birthday, Aaron. I uh, came across your channel, was instantly drawn to watch. It's only been a few weeks, but I've watched 25 videos so far. Did you guys binge watch when you found us? I think a lot of people do. I binge watch channels when I find new channels. Do you really? What was in here? <laughs> in there. <laughs> now, Remember, you showed me all this stuff, but yeah, it's easy to get. So she has a stuff. business, Golden Girl Curls, which you can look at on Facebook, Golden Girl Curls. Okay. And what are, did you look at this? I did, yeah. Is it a necklace or what is it? Yes, it's a necklace. It's very pretty. Well, it's eaten now it's in another bag, so I, but it's very pretty. Okay. <laughs> are you going to open it? Yeah, I'll open it. Okay. Thank you so much. It's very beautiful, and I I don't wear necklaces very often. I totally quit when we had babies because they would grab them all the time. And but I, I think Lincoln's maybe old enough to not strangle me. Grace tried to strangle me in my sleep last night at least three times. Yeah. So obviously I won't wear it at night time. So can you just flip back to the? I can't see you guys. <laughs> so well, we, we can't a, see you anyway. We're just talking about what she can't see us. Pendant. It looks like a sun. With You're the pearl. Yeah. It's very pretty. The so, other thing, thank you so much. I really love it. We haven't given this yet to Kenzie, but she sent this to Kenzie, and um, I have never seen one of these before. This is a one dollar coin because Mackenzie's likes coin. I think it's a one dollar. Yeah, it's a one dollar coin. But on this coin, and somebody helped me out here, is Franklin Pierce. Did you Google this? No, I didn't Google it. I've got 900,000 people, or i got 40,000 people out here that <laughs> know everything. Um, or somebody knows something about something, okay. right? You yeah. would hope. So it's not a Susan B. Anthony. No, it's right? Franklin Pierce. I've never seen one of these. So. But it's a dollar. Yes, so that's a dollar. That's Thank McKenzie. you. Mackenzie will. Our oh, next... my gosh, she'll love it so much. She will. <laughs> she'll say. <laughs> she will. Um, this one actually kind of struck a little nerve with me, and... Um, are you going to paraphrase? I'm going to paraphrase. So this is from Tyler, who's nine years old. Uh, dear Aaron, Mike, Grace, Mackenzie, and Lincoln. Everybody gets a shout-out. That's awesome. Um, I love farming. My dad has chickens and a bunch of other stuff. Um, I have one cow. Mine is named Caroline. I love when kids name their cows. <laughs> this kid needs to get paper with lines on it, though. <laughs> it's not a crooked. <laughs> he did good, though. Uh, I dream one day of ranching. Uh, I have one more question. If the rule of thumb is 25 cows per bull, okay. We'll, we'll reply to him about that. Um, okay, you, Aaron, Grace, Mackenzie, Lincoln, grandparents, neighbors, and whatever else is doing, <laughs> whoever else is doing something around there, gardening, baking, eating, whatever you do, um, something can, some something everybody can do so we can meet the people of Wyoming. Good. I mean, Tyler's, for a nine-year-old, I would say this is pretty... He did awesome. He did a great job. And he so. sent us a loony and a toonie from Canada. Yeah, and he said, sorry, it's Canadian. <laughs> We'll take but, it. The um, kids will play with it. They the like kids, money. The kids will love money. Um, this one's from Eric, and I think we've—I think Eric has actually sent us Reese's Pieces before. I mentioned a, a long time ago that I did like Reese's Pieces, so Eric sent us Thank Reese's you. Pieces. So uh, thanks, Eric, for that. And he also sent a bunch of stickers for the kids, which the kids, I think, have already stuck all over everything. <laughs> That's what they do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, I know. I know who Franklin Pierce was i'm just saying i don't i don't remember there ever being a coin with his face on it so that's pretty much what i got there all right let's talk about uh, that's the end of of mail thank call you guys thank you guys thank you very stuff. much if you'd like to um get anything on mail call um just like uh mary i think it was mary because i threw where did the letter go you've got the letter i'm gonna put it back in that oh did you um michelle michelle golden girl pearls um, we can give you a little shout out for that. So thank, thank you very much. So Dallas, um, I made it back, and the amount of crap that I got for going to Dallas. Should we answer some questions, or you want to talk about Dallas? We can answer questions. We haven't answered any questions. We're so sorry. We have answered questions. We're just behind. <laughs> Man, call is one of those things that kind of takes a second. Uh, um, Corey said he binge watched after after finding us. So thank you. That makes sense. How many barn cats do you, we have? At oh, least thirty. Gosh. No, there's not thirty barn. With all cats. the kittens that I have yet to be seen, there is. There's like four main barn cats that come around. There's Kittler, Flower. Right, that other black one. Deuce, Daddy Kitty, Scraggly Black Cat. 
Were you? I think you're. I think you could no, count the same black no, cat. There's like, a multiple straggly times. black cat. Two face. Uh, okay. There's a tom cat, a calico that I see. I never see. Where do you see all these cats? All the time. I never see them. But there was there was four in our garage yesterday. Right, and I think that's the main four. That's the the. There's the group of Hitler, trouble. Flower, Deuce, and Daddy Kitty. I I don't know. You know who they are. I know who they are, but I I kind of think you're counting the same cat <sighs> no. twice. I kind of rolling my eyes again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's scroll down. And get into some more comments. Um, do you AI any of your cattle? No, we don't. We've never AI'd here. Uh, Gilbert wasn't an AI fan. We've been natural service since we got here, mm -hmm. long before, and we just really aren't set up for it. So we've never done it. No. I actually talked to the vet about doing it, and it was kind of one of those things that, you know, do what you're doing, you know what you're doing, go with what you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I saw another question that I wanted to answer. Oh, whatever happened to the irrigated hay versus the regular hay? We showed that, actually, back. Did you? Yeah. Um, I don't it was very, very, un you really couldn't tell the difference. Um, we... I'm trying to think which video it was. I think it was the mowing video when I got to that field. And we were mowing that field. Unless you cut that area very specifically and weighed it and then cut another I thought area there would be like a visual difference. Like and you there, would, wasn't. there wasn't. You could stay it, it didn't look any different. Yeah. Um, a lot of that might have been because I did start that irrigation later. Mm -hmm. If I would have started it earlier, there might have been a difference. I think next year when we do it, maybe I'll do it. Did you turn that irrigation off or is it still running? No, it's off. Just of course turn. I turned it off. No point in watering it now. <laughs> I can go to get a go get a second cutting <laughs> off of about a hundred square feet. There you go. But uh, mm. you know, um, Charlie asked if we fertilize our hay fields. We do. The cows do. Um, fertilizing is one of those things in this area that's very iffy. Um, obviously, if we if we use manure to fertilize, it doesn't cost us as much. Costs us fuel. If you spend ten thousand dollars having a fertilizer truck come in and fertilize, and we don't get rain. Mm -hmm. You're kind of, that's money down the drain. My mom so. was telling me, though, that Gilbert did fertilize one year and it didn't, they didn't get rain. So it, it made no difference. Mm -hmm. So, and lots of people share that with their experiences with dry land farming, that they've put fertilizer on the field. Or you seed, you put fertilizer in, you, <laughs> Nothing. Uh, you do soil amendments, whatever, you know, you put lime down, whatever. And if you don't get that perfect weather, then, or at least something close to that perfect weather the next year, um, yeah, you're just yeah. flushing money down the toilet. We have really sandy soil too, so nitrogen, move, you know, all the, the minerals, the, not minerals, nutrients move through the soil very quickly. So, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Isaac asked, uh, just, oh, I, thanks, Isaac. He just subbed to our channel. Thank you for thanks. coming and hanging out with us. Uh, what brand of boot and jeans do you wear? Also, what are the models of them? Uh, jeans, I, I wear Wranglers. Mm -hmm. They're the cowboy cut. Are that what they are? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I think they're just the cowboy cut. Pretty. I'm pretty it's easy like going. Twenty five dollars. Like <laughs> yeah. Uh, boots. I wear the Ariat Ranch. I think it's in the ranch line, farm and ranch line. I couldn't tell you what model. It is. You made a video about them. It was after Christmas, right after Christmas. Yeah. Right when. Yeah, the kids got me new boots. Yeah. But I. I. Yeah, I couldn't tell you what make and model they are. <laughs> They're yeah. 2017 Ariats. Close as I can 18. get. 2018. Well, no, they were, no, they were 17. <laughs> uh, um, all right. What else? Okay, do we are going to answer more questions? You yelled at me when I'm I tried. Sorry. There we go. 13 MWZ Wranglers. Thanks, Harold. Is that uh, what they are? Apparently. That's the make and model. I've never heard that. That's, that's cool. All right, so let's talk about Dallas really quick. We're coming up here. Uh, we've got about 15 minutes left. So while we were in Dallas, uh, I went to, well, I was in Dallas. I nice was here. here. Um, I went to Video Marketing World, which is basically a conference for YouTube creators and also brands to come and work on how to use video to social media, social media to actually get your message across better. I pretty much, I didn't concentrate on any of the brand deals and sponsor deals and all that kind of stuff. I don't care about that. But what I did concentrate on more on 
because there was there was 20 or 30 some different classes over this two days so each hour you got to choose between three different classes to go to and I concentrated on uh, audience, audience development. yeah what'd you call it audience development audience development yeah that's pretty much what it was right yeah so one of the things we talked about was um, ways to do more with do without do doing more. more you're rolling your eyes again <laughs> You can. You can do this. So I know I create a lot of work for us. So you it's your turn to create some work for us. So I'm I'm down with it. So one of the things we're talking about doing, and this is another thing that we uh, we need to uh, run past you guys, is a Facebook group that would also you know it wouldn't really be uh, an our Wyoming life Facebook group. It would be a Facebook group for people that are interested in agriculture. Is this making any sense yeah. to you? Yeah. Okay. It makes sense. You've you've explained it to me, so it makes right. sense. Right. <laughs> I'm hoping it makes sense to everybody. Um, so if you're, you know, you could be you could be a farmer or rancher that goes there to talk to other farmers and ranchers and ask questions. You know, my cow has pink eye. What do I do? Um, I've got a lame cow. What's the best way to treat that? But it could also be a great place for people that are not associated with agriculture to to get to know other farmers and ranchers. Yeah. Not just us. Yeah, because there's people, <laughs> one, one of the things that blows me away is that, you know, somebody will jump all over me um, because we don't do the same thing here that they do in Georgia. And yeah. it, it's two different, two completely different places. And if you, if you talk to a rancher from here or a farmer from Georgia or somebody who farms in or ranches in New Mexico, you're going to get three very, very different uh, ways of doing things, right? Am I boring you? I'm just tired, I'm guys. <laughs> So anyway, our plan. They smothered me three times last night. <laughs> <laughs> so our plan is to um, to actually have uh, to start some sort of Facebook page group. Group. It's called a group. It's right? called a group. I don't know. This isn't my deal. It's called a group. And uh, and do a group and basically have people there to help other people out. I do need somebody to help us out doing it though, and I need. Do we need moderators for that? Yeah. Okay, so if you're interested in... Are you guys interested in a Facebook group where you guys can chit-chat and people can post things and you guys can answer questions and you can share an agriculture experience mm -hmm. through a Facebook group? Right. If you're so. interested in that, let us know. Um, you can always send us an email, o-u-r-w-y-life at gmail.com. And if you're interested in moderating something like that, um, that would be a huge help for us as well because you could you know, kind of help us shape it and figure out where it needs to go. The other, the other thing that we're planning on bringing in is something that takes very little work on our part and I think is actually a really cool idea. And it, it lies right here in the live streams that we do. But we're going to call it's going to be something completely different. We're going to call it our Wyoming Life Stream. And basically what the plan there is, and I mean, if you guys think it's a great idea, if you don't, I think I'm going to do it anyway because it just sounds like fun. <laughs> but um, we're out working all the time. And a lot of times, you know, Erin will come up to me and while I'm working, she, she's taking a break, she's doing something else, she'll come up and, and say, what are you doing? And, well, if she's doing that anyway, why doesn't she just have her camera, her phone out and live stream it coming out? You know, if I go out, to the, if I come back in the tractor, I've been out moving hay all day, Erin's out working in the garden, I can go live, go out to Erin, hey, what are you doing? So we're going to call it the life stream, the Our Wyoming life stream. And basically it's going to be about what we're doing at that moment. There's no schedule. There's no, um, you know, we're going to do one a week. We're going to do two a week. We're going to, you know, we're going to do one every other week. Nothing like that. Um, I think that it's just something that we can have fun with. Yeah. And, and they'll probably be much shorter. I, I kind of envision them 20 to 30 minutes. I don't know what you're thinking. I, I have no idea. I kind of let things just flow as they go. If kids didn't have to go to bed, these live streams would probably go until <laughs> 9, 10 o'clock. Um, <coughs> as long as I keep on talking. But that's my plan, you know, just to be able to go out, go live. And it'll be nice because if one of us has the camera, which will, it'll have to be done on the phone um, because we'll have 3G. We won't have internet where we're at. But, uh, you know, somebody could be reading comments mm -hmm. and then feeding them to you if you're weeding or something. You know, hey, Aaron, what are you doing? Yeah. You know, what is that? Can I see Kali Robbie? How do you cook that? Uh, yeah. Whatever along those lines. So if that's something you might be interested in, feel free to send us an email as well, and uh, we can chit chat about you know how that's going to work and come up with other ideas and 
yeah keep on flowing around these are these are the kind of things that that came from dallas the fact that you know we can do more for you guys without making more work for ourselves we get to, we a get asked a lot to make more videos oh my gosh i get asked every day why don't you make more videos or i love those as why, why don't you guys make 60 minute videos three times a week so don't make more videos. videos just make them longer if you have to make a 60 minute no, video no you difference. need to film at least 18 hours of <laughs> video to make a 60 minute video it is really and if, and if some of this does sound familiar it's because you're a diehard and you get the herd report because i talked about all this in the herd report which is our newsletter that you can sign up for uh which we send out every monday i'm so tired <laughs> i think i'm just Sorry. boring no i'm just tired all right you you're sure not boring okay grace smothered me three times grace had a bad dream I don't even know what she mumbles when she comes in and my brain is not awake at mm -hmm. one o'clock in the morning when she wakes me up. So I'm just like, just get in bed, Grace. And then she slept with her head on my pillow. And so she kept like putting her arms like around me. To try to choke you <laughs> yeah. out. And she was Go to sleep. hot and sweaty and I kept down to yeah. At least three times she uh she tried to choke me out. Yeah. Yeah. So Back to the live stream thing. I think it'll actually, somebody mentioned that you might actually live stream something by accident. That's kind of my hope. You know, the my fact is that weird stuff happens, you know, all kinds of, you know, um, Aaron can be weeding in the garden and a snake comes by and all of a sudden she's, I haven't seen any snakes in the garden. She's hot to trot across Knock the garden. Wood. So I haven't yeah. seen a single snake in the garden. I think it'll be, it'll be an interesting thing. So, uh, more day in the life videos. That's from, from Urban's. Um, yeah, that's what those will be. Yeah, I have done a few. If you're talking about like the the standard videos we put out, we've you've done a day in the life video. Mm -hmm. I've done one. We could I mean, do another one. Seasons we could probably change. probably do another one and see things change. We could do one a season because I think change, things change so drastically. Yeah. Um, based on what time of year it is, that we could probably do that. But yeah, who knows? We have so many video ideas out there floating around. It's hard to keep them all straight. I know. It's, it's insane. I am working on the office upstairs. If nobody's caught wind of that, um, have you told anybody? I think I mentioned it in the live in the, the herd report oh. at some point. But uh, we right now our office is actually in our bedroom, which drives Aaron nuts because we still no separation. Night. I don't mind. I've gotten used to every Saturday night for eighteen months. Micah stayed awake till four o'clock in the morning because we never get our poop in a group and get done early. <laughs> Yeah. And, you know, I go to sleep and you stay up and work and then I get up early Sunday morning. Well, I get up whenever the kids wake up, um, which Lincoln's been an early riser lately. So I get up about 630 with Lincoln and try and keep the kids quiet and kick the dog and the cats out of the bedroom because, you know, Lexi will want out or something. Mm -hmm. So and then, yeah, you try and sleep in for a couple hours. So, you know, that still will be the same, but you won't wake me up while you're editing, which you don't really... Sometimes you do, but not yeah. so much. I, I, I getting that separation, you know, from our bedroom, and then at, we're we're building an office basically in the attic, kind of. So um, I think it'll be nice to get up there and and be able to have a little bit of separation. At the same time, you know, I'm not far enough that you know Aaron just can't yell at me I and do. be like, I "Get do. down here," <laughs> which uh, which will happen every once in a while too. So um, Peggy wants to know if our kids will be on the videos more as they get older. Yeah, I think we've always said they'll be in the in, on the channel as as long as it pertains to the reaction stuff. We're not, you know, a kid vlog or anything like that. So they're on the as it pertains to you took as it pertains to what we're doing on the ranch. And of course, they're gonna do more chores and stuff as they get older. Right, and a lot of it is their choice. I mean, Mackenzie loves doing the videos, and mm -hmm. she, but she always has like buyer's remorse afterwards. <laughs> She's so funny. Um, she watches it later, and she is horrified uh, for days. It's really kind of sad. Yeah, like she, gets she embarrassed. she really gets embarrassed by them. Uh, we tell her people love her, you know, and all this kind of stuff. But she does get really embarrassed. Um, Grace is very much she'll float in and out, but she has no she interest talk. in having any sort of starring role like Mackenzie <laughs> does, and Lincoln doesn't care yet. And so I mean, it's one of those things that. I don't want to push them into anything without them being able to say yes or no, you know. And yeah. right now, Grace's thing is kind of like, no, she doesn't really want to be she in She likes them. to be in them, but she will not talk. Like, right. she is capable of talking. I don't know that she's hardly ever talked in the videos, but she does talk. So. Yeah. So it's a it's an interesting thing. But, yeah, I mean, there 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 is kids here and there. We get they were going to get eggs. For us this summer, and then the fox ate all the adult yeah, chickens. So. <laughs> uh, so, 
Um, I'm a rancher and I hate snakes. See, there you go. Yeah, they're bad. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> uh, Trevor asked if YouTube Stony Ridge is coming to our farm. He is coming at some point. We don't know when, but uh, he'll probably call us as he rolls into the driveway. <laughs> Okay. Uh, you showed off your office in one of your videos. I think I did. I think I actually took a video. It all blurs together. I feel so bad. No, guys... no. I think. Well, I think I took a picture of the office, or I had a video of the office in the bedroom in one uh... video. I'm not sure if I've ever taken a video upstairs. I'd have to think about. It. I guess there's there. I'll just run it together. It just runs together. <laughs> um, what time is it? What time is it? Five I was minutes. tired. No, it's yeah, funny. Um, the kid, now that the kids are back in school, we have to be a little bit better about about being done at eight o'clock so the kids. Eight, can, yeah, yeah. When, it, when it's summer, we could go longer, and that's not an issue. But now, eight o'clock is what we shoot for for bedtime. So they will not get to bed at eight o'clock during live streams. But oh, Christy said I did. I did. Show, I I showed video somewhere along. So on some platform, I showed video of the upstairs as I was getting it ready. So I had to clear it all out first, and then we framed a wall. Mm -hmm. And then next is drywall. And we're going to do some electrical. Oh, we're going to do need some, some electrical. Plugins. Yeah, we need plugins. Because right now you just have an extension cord. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Extension cord. Extension cord and a computer is all that's up there right now. But... Yeah, no, I will not be singing. Whoever wants me to sing, you guys don't. How far are we away from 50,000? I don't know. <laughs> well, how many, and somebody let me know how many subscribers we have. I really have I no idea. we're close to 43. Uh, we need to come up with something to do. For fifty thousand, that's kind of a big thing. We need to. That come is up a with, big thing. When we hit fifty thousand, which hopefully we do, if we may not, but hopefully we do, <laughs> um, we need to come up with something. Some people need to put their heads together and tell me what we're going to do for fifty thousand, because I really have no idea. Aaron's not going to sing. I'm not going to dance. Um, you could sing. I could sing. Yeah, Mike knows. Mike can sing, and he plays the guitar. Nobody's gonna want. Nobody wants to see that. You guys have been harassing me about singing for months now, so let's harass Mike about singing and playing the guitar. <laughs> um, thank you. Yeah, see, we're almost at forty-three thousand. Okay, okay. So we got a ways to go yet. You never know. We gain what about a hundred subscribers a day, yeah. or so, right in there. So it's gonna be. We, 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 <laughs> we got some time to figure out what we're gonna do. So we're okay. It's funny. It goes like. It goes in spurts. So, like, if we get another bump, it'll go really fast. Right. At this rate, it'll go, you know, relatively fast. It go, it does. I mean, over time, you look back and it's like, oh gosh, not that long ago we were at thirty thousand, and now we're at forty thousand, and yeah. It's hard to fathom. Yeah. You know. Um, so crazy. <laughs> now we have we have more subscribers almost than live in our entire county. Pretty close. Yeah, we're, we've passed. You know. Gillette is the city that we're closest to, and Gillette's 30-some thousand, and so mm. we have surpassed Gillette. So I can't imagine putting everybody from our town in one place. And then I mean, getting, like, uh, that's our subscribers. So That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, see, you should sing. I'll say one person said I should sing. That's, that's not, enough. <laughs> one person does not a majority make. All right. Uh, yeah, if you do have any ideas for 50000 though, we are definitely looking for something to do that would be special. Um, yeah, it we can always do. So, we can always come up with some sort of giveaway or something like that, but that's... We've done giveaways. Not that we won't do another one, but... No. It would be fun to do something, though. So, uh, When is Guy, Guy in Wyoming coming back on? On YouTube or on our channel? Uh, I don't... I've kind of, I haven't really talked to Blake here in a couple of weeks. He said he's coming to front of the table next year. He did say, he said he wants to come to front of the table, so. <laughs> Look at all these people that want you to sing. Okay. Lip sing wasn't Jason Aldean, it was actually Mike. Um, no, <laughs> it, was, it was Jason. It was Jason Aldean. It was Jason. But you could sing a song. What song? I don't know, ask them. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't know what to sing. Gary had a little lamb. Um, I've seen this question from Kenyon Butler. Do you ever have any issues with, I can't pronounce that. Trichomonas. I can't remember how to <laughs> We call it trick. Um, no, actually, we've been pretty lucky with that. Um, what is it? A bad thing. I, I've i heard of it. I would have to look it up because I don't keep everything right on the tip of my tongue. And if we don't deal with it, I really don't have to mess with it too much. Yeah. Um, we've had coccidiosis. We, have had, we have had coccidiosis a couple times. Um, that's a giant pain in the butt, and the only way to treat them is by cutting off all their water, and then you have to treat their water, which is a giant pain. Yeah. Um, 
that's the reason that we have a microscope down in the shop so that I can look at poop, <laughs> which is very exciting. So give, give away, away a cow. cow. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. Nash guy, you have one a cow. Come and get it or we're going to mail it to you. I wonder how much it costs to mail a cow. Uh, a lot. A lot. <laughs> I, don't think I guess I'd have to drive it. I don't think you can. Oh, it's an STD. Yeah. We, yeah, we've never had. Huh. I have heard of it. I've just never had to deal with it before. Oh. So. They do test bulls, right? Bulls are tested. They test bulls before they come to us for that, yeah. And we don't ever, we buy two-year-old bulls that have never been exposed, right? Right. We buy two-year-old virgin bulls and... So they have not had any... They've had no chance at STDs, hopefully. So. <laughs> We're going to get banned. <laughs> We're, this one might get banned. I don't know if you can say virgin and STD in the same... In the same and bulls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh oh my God, Wait, that is, is a yeah. lot of words that there. is a lot of words <laughs> a lot of big words too are you a vet we might be <laughs> or you just copy and pasted that from google google which is what i would do in that, in that i have never been to the lbj ranch even though i was I, where it's in texas i know that i'm not sure where exactly it's at in texas but i have never have never visited um, why not give away an RWM Life gift, gift basket? That's a good idea from New Yorker um, for 50000 We could do yeah. something special and then do, we, you know, like the sign-ups that we do, that we did for the FLIR and stuff like that, where you go and sign up. Yeah. And uh, that might be something that's very possible. Anyway, we are past 8 o'clock, which means, ding, 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 Erin gets to not go to bed. She gets to go put kids to bed. Uh, which I will help with. And then, what is what do you got planned for tonight? Anything exciting? Bed? I have to make a grocery list so I can go to town. Tomorrow is baking day for Farmer's Market. I get to bake more carrot cake. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but we, uh, yeah, so I got to go to the grocery store in the morning because I did not get there tonight or mm -hmm. yesterday. So. Yeah, well, thank you to everybody for coming out. We really enjoyed Mail Call. If you would like to send us anything, our uh, our mailing address is in the description so you can... Hit us up on there. We will plug whatever you send us. So usually we do get quite. A, we have a whole stack of mail. A lot of it doesn't make it into mail call, but uh, we do. A, we do read everything that we get. Um, if we were more organized, we'd send a thank you note. <laughs> we are. We have everything. We could still. I mean, it's not like we throw anything away. So yeah. we have boxes of stuff. We could actually send thank you notes. You know, I keep thinking the winter is going to come and it's going to slow down, but I don't think it's going to slow down. Do you yeah. think it's going to? Probably not. No. Probably not. Um, if you have any input on uh, the Facebook page, if you'd like to be a moderator for or the group, Facebook group, if you would like to be a moderator for it and help me come up with a name, <laughs> which is another thing we have. Everything has to have a name. Why does everything have to have a name? If you have a name for our uh, rootin' tootin' down and dirty party, ranch party, um, email us that. I want. I, I just love getting feedback from you guys. So our email address, uh, the box is always open. You can send us whatever you'd like. Uh, we have... Um, what else was I going to talk about? Uh, the Facebook group needs a name. Yeah, right? it needs a name, and it needs a moderator. So if anybody's yeah. interested in moderating that, uh, feel free to get a hold of me as well, and we'll get it set up and and hopefully get that up and rolling. And it's not going to be our Wyoming life. No, it's gonna. We're gonna call it something else. It's gonna be just a place for people to meet a rancher. I mean, it could be an online farmers market for all I care. I mean, that's kind of what it is. You know, for, for people to come in and meet meet ranchers and farmers and talk to them. And then also for ranchers and farmers to be able to connect with each other and uh, yeah, answer questions. Zach would be a great guy to help me out with it. Yeah. Zach Hewitt, boy. He did get that FLIR 1. that uh, He did win that. So he <laughs> might owe us a little favor. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a great night. Uh, make sure that you subscribe if you like what you see. We've got a lot more coming up. This weekend, I have no idea what I'm doing. Next week, I have no idea what I'm doing either. But we do have videos coming out three times a week on Sunday. Hey, I know what I'm doing on Thursday. I know you, you are ahead to, of the you game. You need to get with it. And I've even filmed stuff. You have. I haven't done anything. Uh, Sunday, we got a new video coming out. Tuesday's a new video. And Thursday, of course, make sure they sign up for the Herd Report. Do all the things. Go to our website, rwyomilife.com. And until we see you again... Um, Thanks, Thanks for joining, for joining us. us in our Wyoming life. Now I gotta find the button. <coughs> and.